Hi everyone, um, this is going to be my toolbox tour. I got a Harbor Freight uh, 56 inch top and bottom box. It's nice, I like it. It's very sturdy for what it is. I mean, can't complain. Um, so up here on the top, there's a, a lid that folds up. It's got a little paper storage thing in there. Um, I'm not working in any shop right now. I kind of switched careers. And uh, when I was working, you know, at a shop or whatnot, I did have a lot of stuff stored up there. It was really nice to have. But, you know, now I'm at the house. It's just kind of got stuff stacked up there. Some old work shirts, flashlights, little tool chest thing, dial indicator stuff. Um, anyway, top drawer uh, kind of supplies, a little bit of everything. Chains, fuses, Loctites, uh, grinding or uh, cutoff wheels, all the cool stuff, some razor blades, supplies really. Uh, this is a screwdriver pick drawer, a um, little bit of everything, some Craftsman, Pittsburgh, some snap on, some Cornwell, um, a little bit set everyone has, a um, little precision screwdriver set, sorry for freight, two or three bucks maybe um uh, this is a tiny uh torx pit set it's like a t t3 to like t25 or something really small i needed it for one thing and it was only 20 bucks um little stubbies those are uh pittsburgh i think um i think i got some, some craftsman stubbies back there anyway next drawer wrench drawer um and kind of all converted to gear wrench now. Used to have Craftsman, but now it's all gear wrench. Stubbies, uh, some locking or yeah, locking ones that got the angle on them. Um, regular standard set from uh, I think I got inch and a sixteenth to uh, half inch of the gear wrench. Then I got some other size of Craftsmans there, smaller ones I don't use very often. Metric set, um, 8 to 22, doesn't skip one, I even got a little 7mm crasp in there, um, some Platinums, these are really cool, the flexible ones and the reversible, it's really nice, I like those, I didn't think I'd like them that much, but I really do, they come really handy, this drawer, um, a little bit of, a little bit of, I don't even know what to call this drawer. But anyway, the fuck up drawer, I guess. I don't know. Tap and die set, big Irwin set. It's real nice. Um, extractor set, left handed drill bit set. All in there. Really nice. Some Milwaukee stuff. I upgraded from a cobalt set that I had. And I got the Milwaukee, the drill, 3 8 flashlight. And then I got the half inch down below. Some threaded rod. There's some tranny stuff I'm doing right there. It's wonderful. I love it. Not really. Um, ratchet, little earthquake. It's nice. It's actually really nice. This top drawer here, um, nuts, bolts, hardware, watchers, castle nuts, clips, whatever you need. Uh, time cards, spark plugs, hoses, o rings, a little bit of everything. Uh, this drawer is kind of like the overflow of stuff we've either upgraded or don't use very often like a little chain breaker for motorcycle chains oil filter wrenches for toyotas don't use very often oil filter uh oil filter uh big sockets and you know, little short ones i can show them to you Her, come out of there They're the that set you know i got them pretty cheap so figured why not don't again don't use very often some older um ratchets and stuff I don't use anymore or some socket rail with uh, some swivel junk sockets on it serpentine belt tool uh, brake tools uh, where's the other part there it is there's the other part valve tools um, yeah a little bit of everything bits uh, this drawer here chargers apparently a bike inner tube some tranny hardware I stole from the tranny I had. It was junk. And some clutches from the tranny actually. Or some ones I haven't used yet. More streamlight charger. All that stuff. Socket drawer. 
a little bit of everything. Craftsman, Pittsburgh, Natco, Cornwell, Snap-on. Mm, little Snap-on ball allens. Those are pretty cool. Got those for like 100 bucks for the whole set. Oh, these are nice. Tap holders. You can see the square drive in there that holds the tap. And then, oh, come on, motherfucker. And then on the back side, you put it on a 3 inch drive or a half inch drive stuff. It's really nice. Um, this is my standard side over here. Again, you know, a little bit of everything. Some no name stuff, Tecton, receipts, better trunk cleaner, sockets, more sockets. Um, some gear inch swivels. It's pretty cool. Again, really good deal. This was also another good deal. Um, Cornwell, Long Island's, short ones, torques, stamp approved torques, uh, inverted torques, no name sockets, little tire depth gauge, brake thing, uh, some uh, no name uh, Long Island's that I just found laying around places, so I took them. Uh, that's pretty much it for that drawer. And this drawer is the second wrench drawer, kind of the ones I don't use very often. The uh, flex head gear wrench set. I like that set. That's a nice set. And just the regular ones, you know, the straight ones. You just flip over, no locking thing on them. Line wrenches, pipe wrench. Everyone needs one of those. I'm telling you. Some uh, crescent wrenches. Nice little set. I have the other one somewhere. Big crow's foot. It's a snap on. I bought it for like 15 bucks from some surplus place. I used to live by, or they used to be by my house, I should say. Little wrenches, again. I don't use these very often, so I kind of got them on a zip tie, as you can see. I got them all in order. I used to just kind of have them thrown in this drawer, and it used to be everywhere. It made me, annoyed me. So I ended up putting a little zip tie on them, and yeah, that's the best thing I ever did. I don't know why, but it makes it easier, I guess. Plier drawer, no names, uh, Pittsburgh, Irwin's. Or vice grips, whatever you want to call them, snap-ons, craftsmans, some uh, Nipix, some more Nipix stuff, some Cornwall stuff, um, you know, big big pair of channel locks, everyone needs a pair, I love them, pushpin pliers, little tiny pliers, um, snap ring pliers, these things are awesome, I love these things, I don't know why, they just feel really good in your hand, they're tough, they're strong, I love them, I can't complain. Um, rubber gun, you know, more vice grips. Um, I ended up, this set here is a wonderful set. I love these things. These are the Nipix. Uh, I don't know what the hell they are, but again, awesome. So I used to just have uh, these here, little chunky craftsman set. And then I ended up upgrading to uh, these. And man, I, I love those things. Way better than you know your channel lock or your even just a regular Cornwell or Snap-on set you can buy. Um, this drawer, some uh, Craftsman uh, pry bars. It's really all you need. You don't get nothing fancy. You're just prying on shit with it. Uh, you can beat on the end of it. Cheap soldering iron. Little uh, hacksaw. Some big sockets I use really just for beating on stuff. You know if I'm trying to get a race or something or bearing out or maybe get it started you know if I'm using a press or something wonderful it's just a Harbor Freight set I paid 50 60 bucks for it it's a nice set even when you need one of the sockets they're pretty nice sockets I can't complain this drawer here um, there's that big half inch Milwaukee uh, gun I was talking about it's a nice one um, blow gun Four couple wrenches, the fancy one. It's got the her. It's got the teeth on it. I think it's a blue point. Yeah, it is. Um, fil er, filters, <laughs> funnels, tie grinders, oil apparently. Straight one, ninety degree one. Um, cut off wheel here. I think this is a. Uh, yeah, it's another Cornwell. Uh, air gauge. Different bits for the die grinders. Um, this is that cobalt stuff I was talking about. And the half inch drive, and there's the drill. I just kind of keep them in here. Um, Cornwall gun. It's real nice. 
I I love this thing. I mean, I think it's a copy of an Ingersoll Rand. Because that was the one I had before, was an old Ingersoll, and it just kind of stopped working eventually one day. And I tried to get it working, and every once in a while it would start working, and then it just went away. Nice gun, though. You know, strong little fucker. Couldn't tell you what it is, but whatever it is, it's nice. Um, this here, best best tool. Love this thing. Very, very, very handy. Uh, Cornwell, big air hammer. You know, I love it. I use it, as you can see. Some smaller bits for it. Um, I'd recommend <laughs> getting these two big bits for it. One, it's kind of got a curve on it, and one that's straight. Best thing you ever do, I'm telling you. Um, some bits. These little things were expensive as hell. They were like a hundred bucks, I think, and there's another one that's in there. Man, they're fucking expensive. They're nice, but not that nice. Uh, and I was I was making too much money then, apparently. So I figured just blow it on tools, why not? Anyway. Um, this drawer. You know, it's kind of an overflow. KTM side covers. Piston from a, I think a Sportsman 1000 or something. The other one's in there. Um, carry bearing from a Razor. Snorkel pipe from a Ranger. Um, just a cheap socket set I found. Um, I think it fell on the road or something. I don't know. It was nice though. Um, that's pretty much it for this drawer. I mean, some cheap ties and junk, really. Some extra brake pads in there, apparently. Oh, oh, and this, this was nice, this was really cool. Leatherman, I found it. It's free. Can't beat free. Nice set, too. Uh, this drawer here is uh, ratchets and extensions. Um, really have most of my uh, extensions are snap on now. Um, some craftsman stuff, like these long ones. Or some longer ones that are snap or craftsman. Um, this was my first snap on ratchet that I bought about four or five years ago, I think it was. It's a nice ratchet, a little 3 8 one, 80 tooth, I think. It's a nice one. And then uh, I bought that one, then I eventually bought this little uh, quarter inch drive one, a nice one. And then I eventually upgraded to the, the half inch drive one. And I love all three of those. Those are nice ratchets. Um, this gear wrench one. It's okay. 84 tooth. It's nice. This is the second one I had. I had to warrant you out the first one. The, the teeth on the flex head stripped out so it was just flopping all around. <laughs> um, some snap-on extensions. I mean, they're nothing. If I'd went back, I wouldn't have bought them. I would have just went with my, you know, Pittsburgh or Grassman. There's, there's no point of buying them. They're just... And like these here, these are just regular ones. Nothing fancy, just like all the rest. The only thing is, is it says snap on it. That's it. But anyway, I was dumb. Pittsburgh Ratchet. This is a nice one, actually. Nice tooth count. Um, I actually used it quite a bit. Um, the thing's backwards. On, off should be backwards compared to all the rest, but oh well. He used to it. And if not, he just flipped it back over. And I got the straight one of it. And a couple swivels back there. As you can see. Going with the tape. I know I've got to keep it steady somehow. Um, that's pretty much it for that drawer. This drawer. Um, some Allen keys. Punches. Pocket knives. Needle file set. Nice little set. Little Arbor Freight set. A couple bucks. Big uh, chisels. Whatnot. Punches. Lineup bars. A little bit of everything. Um, got electrical stuff, some wiring, some connectors, little test wires that I had for testing stuff, multimeter, um, this was nice for soldering stuff, some heat shrink over there, um, some plugs, a little bit of everything. Hammer drawer, um, these are all Craftsman here, this is a Cornwell one, it's a nice one, I love this little fucker, this was my newest hammer to buy. And it is heavy, it's nice, it's it's perfect. Dead blow, Harbor Freight, don't need nothing else. Works the same as all the fucking rest of them. Um, 
And then this drawer is just kind of cases and whatnot. Extra little craftsman stuff I got there. Notebook, you know, a little bit of everything. Um, and that's pretty much it for the box. Um, 